welcome back to another vlog it is friday and i am getting ready for a day full of work i have actually taken the last like week week and a half off of vlogging i've mentioned it before but i've just been in a little bit of a funk it's fine i'll be fine but um we have been also trying to figure out our living situation which has turned out to be a little trickier than we thought um let's take it back to a couple weeks ago actually probably like two months ago or so we looked at a house um that we loved and i think i showed it in a vlog and people didn't know but we actually applied for that house and they just like kind of never got back to us and then we followed up like maybe i don't know it might have been like a week later and they were just like oh yeah it got rented out or something and we were just like okay so that was a bummer but it was like bad timing you know our lease isn't up until the end of this months we were like mm, probably for the best right well then we found another place it was actually in the same neighborhood and it was the same exact floor plan as the other house we had looked at but it was in like a better position better lighting it was so cute i think i'm gonna do like a full apartment housing tour video once we've like you know decided what we're doing and <laughs> who knows who knows we'll get there but um yeah we toured that one it was perfect it was beautiful it was cloudy on the day we toured it so that was a bummer but it was like south facing it was so pretty so we like rushed home immediately applied for it and like less than two minutes after we <laughs> sent in our application they let us know that it had just been leased to somebody else so that was rejection number two we were like okay great that's fine so nevertheless we persisted and we moved on and you know there's a particular area that we really like so we were like okay let's try to sort of focus on this area so we found the cutest little townhouse that we were obsessed with and it was like freshly renovated it was so cute it had like all new fixtures and a garage and like so many amazing things and we applied for it and we did not get it they went with another applicant and it's been so crazy this rental market is like it's so different than i guess what we experienced when we moved to la both times i think it's just at the moment the housing market is like really crazy or you know the rental market even and so we're just like oh my god we both have really good credit scores we both have a good amount of savings we both have steady income we're two young people who work from home and are quiet we have perfect rental history you know all that kind of stuff so anyways just kind of kind of frustrating but yes we did get rejected not one not two but three times from houses that we really wanted so we're like okay do we keep going do we take that as a sign like you know not sure but the good news is our current landlord let us know that he's gonna let us go month to month which we asked him last year if we could do that and he said no so that's great so anyways no one asked about that but that's kind of like what's been consuming a lot of our time we've been spending a lot of our time like driving around going to viewings you know etc we also viewed another place a couple days ago and applied for that but there were like 14 other applications and it's also still online so not keeping our hopes up with that one but just like i didn't realize it was so competitive when we moved here the first time we applied for the first place we basically fell in love with and got it and then when we moved back the second time we applied for two different places that we viewed because we weren't sure which one we liked better so we were like let's just apply for both and we got both of those so we had to choose so it's just kind of funny like it's deeply humbling so that's great but it's kind of soul crushing when you lose out on like your dream apartment three times in a row or your dream house ah, it's okay it's like you know in the grand scheme of things obviously it doesn't matter but um yeah at least we have the flexibility to sort of figure out what we're gonna do um we love this neighborhood that we currently live in but it's just i don't know I, it might be time to move on so we're gonna see about that um we're either gonna decide that we're fully like giving it a rest for a few months and then trying again like maybe after the summer or we're still gonna try to figure it out like in the next i don't know a few weeks um it'll all depend we do have our fingers crossed about the place that we applied for but as previous events have proven uh, you can't really get your hopes up so it would be great if we got that one but if it's not meant to be ours it's not going to be ours we've had like a pretty good mindset throughout all of this like if it's meant to be our home it will be and if it's not it won't be and it'll be perfect for someone else you know maybe it's like a family that wants to live there or someone that works close by or whatever the case you know so anyway that's what's been going on we've just been busy getting rejected left and right it's good it's good for the soul 
That is sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. So yeah, anyway, my mom was actually also here um, a couple days ago. She was here with a friend. She was visiting with a friend and then she extended her trip a couple of days to stay with us. And she was there for some of the viewing stuff. We'll get into more detail like when we do the actual apartment tour video, house tours. So yeah, that was lovely. It was nice to have my mom here for a short but sweet period of time. And now we're back to work. We're back to doing the thing. So it's Friday. I have a filming day today. I'm gonna film a main channel video. I have a little bit of a like Instagram stories video that's for this outfit that I'm gonna do. It's for like a sponsored thing. So I've got to do that. I've got to film the main channel video. I have to make a return for another branded video. Drop off a Poshmark package. I think that's pretty much it. I have to send edits. Today is the day that my editor edits one of the videos of mine per week. So I will have to get any edits back to her if there are any. So yeah, we have a lot to do. I'm blabbing. This is way too long of a clip. But just wanted to say hello, good morning, welcome, just before 10 a.m. And we're gonna do all of the things today. We're gonna get it all done. I'm back into my workout routine, which feels great. I had the absolute period from hell this past week. I've been bedridden and just, you know, kind of going through it. But just knowing that we can stay in this place for like an open-ended period of time is so, <sighs> It's such a like peace of mind, so that's good to know. But yeah, we've got to figure it out soon because I can't keep doing this like limbo. Are we moving? Are we not? It's like, it's really getting to me. So anyway, okay, let's film these little Instagram stories and then hit the road. All right, so for this one, it requires filming it in the mirror. So I'm just taking a look at like the talking points that I need to go over, like coupon code, etc., And then I will film my little videos in the mirror. Right, just made it to the fitting room. I'm going to Target as a sneak peek. I don't remember if this vlog will be up before the fitting room video. I'm pretty sure it will be. So you can enjoy that pretty soon. That'll be up. So I need to run inside, go film that really quickly, and then we will catch up in a little bit when I'm done filming. Hello, it's a couple days later. I'm just sitting on the couch and I am realizing that not only did I not continue to pick up this vlog and I've been struggling with that. Like, I don't know, when you get out of the practice of vlogging, it's really hard to like get back into it. I don't know, when you stop, it's like weird to get back into it. But also, I am giving a very strange combination of both Garth and Wayne from Wayne's World with this look. <laughs> it's okay. I thought for this vlog, just to get back into it, cause I have taken like a couple weeks off and I've, like I said, just sort of been struggling. Um, I thought it'd be nice to just catch up, do a little bit of like a Q&A, catch up Q&A, just sort of let you know what I've been up to, just check in, you know, keep you current, and then we can just chat about all of the things in one vlog and then move on with other things. So I asked you a few questions on Instagram. I screenshotted some of them. These are in no particular order, but we will just, you know, catch up. I'll let you know what I've been up to. So. One of the first questions is, as always, like so sweet. A lot of people are like, how are you? How are things? How have you been? How's your mental health, etc." which is so, so nice. I've been okay. I would just say, okay, you know, not great, not bad. I think it's really interesting because I actually watched a John Green video recently where he talked about how he has like all of this success and he's accomplishing all of these things, but like he struggles sometimes still. I think the way he worded it was, he's wearing like his nerve endings on the outside of his body recently. And I, I feel that so deeply. Like he was like, I'm, I'm suffering from like a, a thin skin at the moment. And that's sort of like, I can relate to that a lot. Um, I just feel like there are times in my life where I have a really thick skin, things roll off my back, things don't affect me that much. And then there are other times where I'm just like way more vulnerable, way more sensitive, way more, um, I don't know, susceptible to being in my feels. And I mean, I have struggled at various points in my life with depression, like actual depression. I know people are like, oh, I'm depressed. And they kind of use it as like a, like a term to throw around. But um, I would say my biggest thing is probably stemming from my health. I have SIBO and it's caused me to be anemic. 
and both of those things give me such a very minute amount of energy per day and I'm still trying to like you know do all the things I'm trying to work out I'm trying to have social plans I'm trying to work I'm trying to do you know balance it all I don't know how moms do it it, I feel like the need to disclaim that but like this is my own experience anyways I don't know how people do it I don't know how people have the energy because I'm truly exhausted like all the time and I have such chronic fatigue that I desperately try to work through but there are times where I just like literally shut down and so yeah I'm just I'm kind of struggling with that I feel just like it makes me feel like I'm being lazy or not working hard or whatever it is and like I'm a Capricorn so I pride myself on working hard and like that's just something that's like ingrained in me so I don't know I've been struggling with that a little bit and then We'll get into it. I guess we'll just talk about it now. I got a lot of questions about like, what's the tea? Are you moving? Are you staying where you're at? Any updates? And as of right now, I don't have any updates. Um, we are currently in the process of, <laughs> I wish I was joking, applying for our fifth place our fifth house that we are trying to get um things have progressed even since i filmed the beginning of this vlog so it's like i want to take it as a sign like okay maybe we shouldn't move at the moment but th that's just how things are um it's just insanely competitive there was a place that i think alexa sent me she was like viewing and she's she loves like looking at zillow and stuff and she was viewing some areas and she sent me a place and it had been listed for less than a day and 113 people had reached out about this property like what and it's just so competitive and yeah it's kind of like um i don't know i, I don't remember if i mentioned this at the beginning of the vlog but it's, it's just like, Drew and I, I feel like our dream tenants, but people are probably making more money than us, or maybe they have like more availability. Maybe they're like offering above rent. I've heard people saying that lately, like the rental market is so competitive now that people are putting in offers like saying, oh, we'll pay if the rent is like 2,500, we'll pay 2,800 or whatever. That's just crazy to me. So there are no updates as of yet. Um, if we do get rejected from our fifth place, I do think that we will probably just take a little break until we figure things out because I don't know how much more rejection we can take. And I think that's kind of like also feeding into all of that. But yeah, I have never felt more comfortable and confident in like who I am as a person, my relationship, like how I move through life, my personality, everything like that, while also feeling the least rooted and grounded that I ever have in my life at the same time. Like when Katy Perry was like, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? Like I felt that, I really felt that. I actually, yes, I do feel that way currently. So we'll see what happens. I never imagined at 36, it would be such a difficult thing to like figure out where to live. I mean, I would have thought that I would have like owned a house by now, forget it. Like, don't even get me started on that. We had that, we had that discussion recently. But yeah, that's currently what's going on with me, but I'm overall doing okay. And if we, you know, as soon as we have some moving updates, and I'm ready to share, I will absolutely share it. Should we just jump into some random ones? This one says, can you explain more about what SIBO is and how it's affecting you personally? I got a couple questions about SIBO. SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So essentially there is something that happens within your stomach where you are producing way too much bacteria in your small intestine. And it can show up in a lot of different ways in your life. It can be stomach swelling, it can be fatigue, it can be gas, it can be digestion issues, it can be all sorts of stuff. But basically my stomach swells up like I'm pregnant a lot of times after I eat. I have just a lot of really fun symptoms. Mostly fatigue is like the biggest one and then it's caused me to be anemic and it just feels like everything I eat is complicated and um, yeah, it just gives me a lot of like discomfort. And so it's just something that I'm trying to figure out because the only treatment for it really is to like eradicate it with really intense antibiotics and I have done that. And also some of the side effects of those antibiotics are really intense, like the really, really intense ones. So it's just kind of a matter of figuring out how I'm gonna manage it and trying to see what foods trigger it, but it really kind of feels like everything does. So it's affecting me a lot, actually. Um, it's something that really bothers me and I feel like I am feeling a little emosh about it. So I don't know if I wanna get into it at the moment because I don't want to cry, but um, yeah, it, it's really frustrating. And if you are also going through it, I'm so sorry because it's like persistent. I thought this question was interesting and I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this in the video, but I wanna be honest because I think that that's like, 
we just need to be honest with each other about stuff. But I got this question that says, are you thinking of taking Ozempic? And currently, no. Um, but the thing is, like, since getting diagnosed with PCOS, it was something that was brought up as sort of like a, I don't know, not like a remedy, but just as a treatment option for having PCOS. Some old glutides do help with insulin resistance, which I do have from my PCOS. So it's like something that I have thought about in the past. And of course, like, I don't know, those bad body image days happen and you think like, I just want to have like a magic pill or a magic thing that's gonna like fix this um and yeah to to be totally honest like i'm not a i'm not like immune to bad body image days or days where i want to lose weight or days where i want to change my body like i think that that's a very natural part of having a body and i don't see a lot of people talking about that it's either like they just do it or it's like so anti and i'm not anti ozempic or using what are they called glp ones i'm not against people who want to do that for themselves it's a very personal decision that like someone's gonna make for their own body it can feel sometimes a little overwhelming when like it feels like everyone's on it and it feels like everyone is losing weight and you're not and so it's just like i don't know it's something that um i have thought about in the past but never seriously especially because i have stomach problems as it is number one and number two i have emetophobia which is like the fear of vomiting and that would probably be my worst nightmare if it made me feel sick or like nauseous so that's probably another big reason that i wouldn't take it but no i mean it is like a serious thing and um i'm not trying to make light of it but no i don't think i would ever do it but i do think that it's just like a very personal decision that people make and if i had a friend who ended up taking it or whatever i would just support them it's not my body it's not my business but it is just an interesting time that we're in right now i get that question a lot actually of people being like i don't know sometimes i'm like are you suggesting it or are you just simply asking but that's just not for me um but I don't have anything against anyone who does that or has plastic surgery or whatever because you never know what someone's going through. You never know the reasoning behind it. It's for a lot of people, they've probably put a lot of thought into that. And, you know, a lot of times it's coming from like, you're not in a great place. I won't be partaking in it, but, you know, it is something that's present and it's kind of in our faces and we're all like thinking about it and talking about it or at least in my like circles it's a it's a thing that's brought up and i mean even like people in my family have talked about you know trying to go on it or whatever and it's just it's a thing that um there's like a bigger underlying root cause and i don't want to get into that whole conversation at the moment but the answer is no i will not be taking it how is it going since moo and layla passed i feel like the pain never goes away when losing a pet i actually uh, got a couple questions about like yeah like how has your life changed how has your routine changed and i mean everything about our lives have changed since losing them i would say <laughs> i mean everything from like when we wake up in the morning our morning routine our night routine what we do during the day, how long we can be out of the house during the day, we can stay overnight places, we can travel, you know, there are a lot of things that have changed, but I mean, really, it's just a lot of like moving through sadness and being like, oh, like finding a clump of hair or um, talking about a memory or stumbling upon a picture or whatever. And it's been hard. I don't, I wish that there was some thing I could say that like would help someone who's going through the same thing but it's like just a matter of moving through it i don't know grief like pet grief is so unique because it's like to me anyway this these are my children like these are you know in my mind my kids and so it's just so it's such a deep wound and like it's like if you've ever had a pet that's like your soulmate then you understand but it also feels like sometimes i feel dramatic if i'm like talking about grieving because it's like people are grieving like their parents or their partner or their child or whatever and so it just feels like um i never want to make it i don't know i'm always thinking that if i talk about it too much people are like oh my god get over it but i mean it it, it destroyed me <laughs> like it absolutely destroyed me so um yeah i mean it's just a matter of like trying to set a new routine and figure things out but i will say that it's been a rough like six seven eight months or so since we lost them and it was just such a one-two punch losing them both six weeks apart like it was quite literally six weeks to the day it was just like yeah it was rough so um thank you for asking i agree that the pain never goes away but you just sort of get used to it
I'm not crying as much anymore, so that's good. But I mean, I do still cry. Drew and I cried the other day when we were talking about it, but it is what it is. How do you deal with burnout? Asking for me, LOL. I kind of touched it on this at the beginning, but because um, it's like ties into what I was saying and how I've been doing and how I've been feeling, like exhaustion, burnout, etc. Um, I don't know. I st I work until the point I push myself in till the point of burnout and then I'm burnt out and then I need to just like do nothing and be nonverbal and be horizontal in my bed or on my couch for days to recover. Um, and so because of that, and because I have like such a limited social battery as well, even if I go out and do like a couple little things, I am like emotionally exhausted and I need to just like recover. So really it's doing nothing. Like that's, that's how I recover from burnout, but I really need to have like a better structure in place to avoid doing it because it's not good for you. I wanted to answer this question because someone said, what are your favorite food slash snacks at the moment and like can someone please help me with that because i feel like one of the biggest stressors <laughs> no not really but one of the things that is the hardest thing to figure out as an adult is like what are you gonna eat what am i gonna eat for breakfast lunch and dinner especially dinner and like snacks i'm like what do, what are people eating i have i have no thoughts every single week when it's time to get groceries drew and i, drew and I are literally looking at each other like what are what are we gonna eat what, what food is there? I can go to the grocery store and just be like, I don't know. Like, I never know what to make. So we make all the same things and then we get sick of it. So maybe we can like give each other recipe ideas or something. Because I just thought that was such a funny question. Because I'm like, I wish I knew. I, would, I eat like pretty much the same thing every day because I don't know what else to eat. I just forget that things exist and then I'll be like, wait, I'll like remember a recipe or whatever. I'm just like not very creative in the kitchen in that way. The last question I will answer is one that I thought was great and it says, what are five things someone could bring to a seance to summon you? I think this is fantastic. So we're gonna go like fresh flowers, some kind of like colorful flower bouquet, like a wild flower bouquet or something like that. Um, Sauvignon Blanc maybe you could say. Uh, possibly like a Taylor Swift album, um, a Diet Coke with pebble ice. I mean, how much more basic can I go? And I love it. Um, and then maybe like a thrift store gift card. <laughs> I have no idea, but those are the, those are the five things off the top of my head. So anyways, I feel much better after opening up and chatting and you know, sometimes it's like this weird up and down with creating content, especially vlogs when you're like posting about your life, but you're in these times where you feel a little bit more like you just want to be a hermit and like not talk about that kind of stuff but opening up always helps and I just love connecting with you guys so much and so thank you for being here and thanks for being patient as I kind of like figure it out and um yeah this is gonna be you know the vlog for today so hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if there are any other questions you want me to answer let me know in the comments and if you want to see me do these more often let me know but I will see you very soon in the next vlog bye Thank you.